Welcome to another Discraft Pro Clinic. My name is Mark Ellis and I play for TV. And in today's clinic, we're dealing with long distance driving techniques. This afternoon, we are in Milford, Michigan, the site of the toboggan course. We are on hole number 13. If you've seen our other distance driving video, you've seen this hole before. But for today's purposes, we have moved the tee pad up 150 feet. So now the top of the hill isn't as far away as it is before. Now it looks like it's 380, 400 feet or so. In this clinic, we are featuring one of the Discraft pros, Marty Peters. Yeah. Marty has been playing disc golf for 26 years. He's been a pro for the last 11. He's been on the team disc craft for the last five. Marty throws with great power, superb form, and basically Marty throws farther than mere mortals do. He believes he can take the average golfer and increase their power by 50 to 75 feet just watching this video. Hi guys, I'm Marty Peters. I'm here to uh try to uh, critique these, these three gentlemen behind me. I'm going to uh, try to change the way they throw and uh, hopefully get more distance out of them. Now, I believe that each and every one of us can improve in our game and uh, maybe you can take something away from this that'll help your game. Let's do it. Uh, my name is Matt Travis. I'm from Park Forest, Illinois, and I've been playing disc golf for a little over two years and I can throw right around 350. My name is Carl Hall, hometown of Brighton, Michigan. I've been playing about four years. Usually my average drive is about 320. I'm Daysard Norris, hometown of Shelby, Michigan, and I can throw 300. All right, I'm here with Matt, and I've noticed a few things that, that I can help him with, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll improve his, his distance. So one of them is his grip. Matt throws with sort of a fan grip. For a power grip and all that does is it takes power off your throw because it's creating drag coming out of your hand okay to uh you want it you want a tight grip not tight as in gripping it you want it you want it you want it so it's not going to fall out of your hand so you can do this all day it's not going anywhere show the group your your grip matt okay everybody see that see how none of his fingertips are underneath that rim they're all kind of like this i'm sure some of you do it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change his grip. Matt also, when he throws, he breaks his wrist in this motion here. And that's creating, that's creating more drag and, and, and all it's doing is, is creating uh, uh, resistance. resistance. Correct, correct. So what Matt needs to do is he needs to straighten out his wrist. Okay, and he needs to snap from, from here to here. That's it. None of this. From here to here. Okay, so we're gonna change his grip. He's got four fingers down. This is how, this is my grip. So, you know, everybody has different grips. But the main key is you have to have your fingertips under the rim. Right here, your fingertips on that rim. Okay? Okay, so how are you gripping it? You're gripping it tight, right? Mm -hmm. Don't want to come over to the top too much for the thumb. You want to keep it to the side. Okay? So it's, it releases in a, in a smooth transaction out of your fingers. Okay? So you're gripping it, right? So what I want you to do is right now I, I can tell that you're tense with your grip. I want you to just loosen everything up. Okay? Real loose. Real loose. So I want you to be able to bounce back and forth kind of, okay? Real easy. That's how I want you to throw it. Okay? Now. It's under stable disc, so you're gonna have to throw it on a hyzer, of course. And just, I want you to throw, throw down through your knees and up. Okay. Where's your wrist gonna be? Yep. Where are you gonna snap it? How's your wrist? What? How is it gonna be real? And that's beautiful. You see that little snap? That's what you want. That little kind of. Uh, that's all you need. Matt, I want you to don't come over the top. It's under stable. I want you to be here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice and easy with your wrist. Let's see it. Yeah, that's 75 feet. That's 75 feet. Right there. 
Okay? Do it again. Drop down. It's understable. You change your grip. You change the way you throw your disc with the disc that you're throwing. Understable distance. You want to throw. You want to throw on a on a extreme hyzer. Beautiful, beautiful, nice snap. You see that? Nice. You got to drive now. There it is. There it is. See that? You gained, buddy. Okay. Hi, I'm with Carl and uh, we're going to try to improve his distance by changing his footwork a little bit. Carl has, has uh, uh, his, foot, his footwork isn't as tight as I'd, I'd like it to be and we're going to try to change it and get him some more distance. Right now, Carl's hips were in this position when he threw. Excuse me, Carl. This is how he threw. This was his power. He walked up to it sideways and threw. What Carl needs to do is he needs to point this butt cheek towards that target. So if he walked back, if he, if he twisted more in his run-up, he's going to gain more power. Okay. So if he did something more like this, see how my butt is? straight through okay so we're going to teach Carl how to do that okay, okay. grab your disc let's come up here I'm not going to give you hardly any steps from there okay, okay. put this your lead foot here okay more here okay now I want you to walk backwards comfortably and release okay just walk back yep yep and look pretty smooth keep on doing that okay just straight back yep look from here yep I want, you, I want you to rip through like you normally do, okay? Okay, right now you're, too, you're still too lengthy. I want, still too lengthy. It, it, you, want, you want to uh, end up with all your weight on your, on your lead foot. All your back foot is doing is controlling your spin. A lot of guys, all their weight is on both feet or on their back foot, and that's a no-no. You gotta get all that weight on your front foot, and what this foot does is it drags, and creates, it, it helps you control your hips, so you don't throw here or here, okay? Get all your weight on your front foot. Okay. Now, be tighter. Tight. I want you tight. Put those feet together more, yep. Small step, real small. Think, real small. All right? Now, get light footed. You walk into it. Light foot. Light foot. You have quick feet. Your feet are real slow. Okay. Quick feet. Better. You need to be, you need to be up on those toes okay. to get that, that snap around. There you go. You see the dirt, you see the did you see the difference in his feet right there? You see how he wasn't flat-footed? You have to be up on your toes. If you're flat-footed, I mean, I'm not talking about control. I'm not talking about anything but power. Okay? All right, Carl. Good job. I'm here with Dasar. I'm going to try to change some of his throwing techniques to, to give him a, a little more power. Why don't you throw your normal way? I want to see it one more time. Kind of forget. Let me see your grip, Tassar. Okay. Three fingers. All right. How are you gripping it? How tight? Real loose? Pretty tight. So where do you where? I want your wrist from here, snapping to there. Okay, right at the end. Yep. Okay. Don't over snap. Let me see your grip. Did that hurt? Nah. See what you're doing here? I want I want your fingertips. Yeah. See that? See the difference? Yep. There to there. They're almost fanned. Yeah, you don't want them fanned at all. You do. That's where you want them, okay? Right. Easy grip so it snaps out. Now what I want you to do, instead of throwing upright, you're throwing like this. I want you to throw, I want you, 
your upper body to be over your disc, and I want you to throw in this motion, okay? Yeah, I want you to drop this all the way. Drop as far as you can, and, and well, where it's comfortable, and snap out that way, okay? Let's see your grip. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Is it? Drop that thing all the way down on, on a 90 almost, and I want you to rip out, okay? Release it yep, yep. Really? Really. Drop it all the way down, snap, and snap it out hard. That was better. Do it again. Keep it a little bit lower. Be real easy. Your arm, what you're trying to do is you're trying to muscle everything from the top. Yeah. Just use your hips, okay? Use your hips to pull your arm through. Right. Don't worry about throwing with this arm because your arm is just following what your hips are, are telling it to do, okay? Pull with this elbow, okay? Right. Nice and easy. Don't try to overpower it. There it is. What you're doing is you're throwing from up here. I'm trying to throw it flat. Trying to keep right, it flat. right. You try to throw flat, you're going to get less power because the inertia of your arm is much faster coming in a, in a kind of an upward motion Same than here, way. right? So you're using your hips and you're pulling through. You guys, can you hear this? Yeah. Can you hear that? I'm, I'm doing nothing. If you achieve that, you're going to have power. It's the sound. That's all it is. Get your feet together. Get them fast. And you get that, that little snap in your arm and you're thrown. One more. Nice. That's much better. That's much better. Woo! If you practice that in the field, you're, you'll, you'll get a lot more power. Just don't forget it. Just keep on doing it, and you will improve. I guarantee it. Okay? All right. Our money back.